Welcome to our tutorial about the face tool. Let's begin with a new sheet metal part file. In millimeters. OK. Sketch 1 is active. Let's activate the rectangle tool and drop our rectangle about here. Now let's dimension it. 40 millimeters on this side. OK. And 50 millimeters over here. OK. Let's exit the sketch and take an isometric view. Activate the Face tool. It's on the Sheet Metal tab. Since we've only got one profile, it's already pre-selected. Here we choose the offset direction. And let's click OK. Now let's create a second sketch. I'm going to create it on this face. We'll activate the Rectangle tool and drop my rectangle right about here. Let's apply dimensions. Make it 6 millimeters. And from this side, 8 millimeters. OK. The height, 15 millimeters. OK. Now let's exit the sketch. Activate the Face tool again. Since I've got two profiles, the Profile tool is selected for me. I'll select this profile. Once again, we can choose the offset direction by clicking here. Let's click OK. And let's create another sketch. I'll put it on this face here. And let's create a sketch something like this. Close the profile. Exit the sketch. And let's activate the Face tool again. Since we've got two profiles here to select from, I've got the Profile tool active and I'll select this tool. Let's choose the offset direction now. And activate the Edge selector now. We'll select this edge. A preview appears. Let's click OK. And here is our third face. Let's double click on the feature to edit the face. I want to click on this option now Extend Bend Align to Side Faces. OK. You see the shape of face 3 has changed. Let's click OK. Let's activate the edge selector again. We'll shift and then deselect this edge. Let's select this edge now. Here we've got a few options for a double bend. Fixed edges, 45 degree, full radius, and 90 degree. Click this button to flip the fixed edges. Let's work with full radius and click OK. And let's double click on phase 3 again to edit it. Activate the Edge Selector, Shift and Deselect this edge, and now let's select this edge, and click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about the Face tool.